Every day, our natural heritage and the basic rights of countless people are threatened by destruction, corruption, and trafficking. And every day, Freeland and our partners are deployed across the globe to do something about it. Join us at the front line and help us make our world free of wildlife trafficking and human slavery. My name's Molly Farrell and I'm an environmental filmmaker and photographer. I'm also a Nat Geo Young Explorer and I work with Freeland to document wildlife trafficking and human rights issues. I love elephants and I've spent a lot of time researching and documenting Asian and African elephant conservation. Around the world, elephants are in danger of being killed for their tusks. At this point, the rate of elephant poaching is so high that the global population of elephants is decreasing rapidly. Living in Thailand, I've seen several tons of ivory confiscated this year on its way from Africa to Asia. The tusks you see here represent over 200 dead elephants. Recently, the problem has become so serious that people and governments are starting to act. Governments are lining up to publicly show their support for ending the ivory trade by destroying their stockpiles of illegal ivory. These public ivory crushes have been helping to raise awareness and make sure that the ivory never goes into circulation again. And we look around and we see that we have a responsibility as a community. And that responsibility really stems from the fact that every day 96 elephants are killed. Every 15 minutes an elephant is killed. Today's event is a turning point where we say no to that. There's no value in ivory. But there is We're on our way to the first ivory crush ever to take place in Thailand. And it's a great thing that Thailand's joining the movement. Hopefully the event will remind people around the world who are watching that all those tusks that they're looking at come from dead elephants and that that needs to stop. Over two tons of ivory were crushed at the event and local and international media teams were there to document the whole process. Freeland supported the Thai government in planning and organizing the event and was also there to help facilitate the crush and spread the word. Today we have to congratulate the Royal Thai government for their act of destroying this ivory because it clearly shows their commitment to cracking down on illegal wildlife trade and it sends a clear message out there to illegal traders that this kind of thing will not be tolerated. Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha presided over the crush showing how serious the Thai government is about putting an end to illegal ivory trade. When you see an elephant in front of you, as smart and sensitive as they are, it's so hard to imagine that anyone could kill such a beautiful animal to make some ornamental object. So this is where the ivory will be burned now that it's been crushed. And this is where the story of the lives of all of these elephants will end. And I just hope that 
actions like these by people and governments that take a really strong stance against this trade can help to prevent the loss of more elephants' lives in the future. The fate of these elephants is in our hands. Before you buy a piece of ivory, remember the real cost of that object.